Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back again because unfortunately, Amberlynn just won't leave the like rant and lecture era of her channel. I think I misspoke in a previous video when I said she was in her Q&A era. I mean, she is, but it really seems to be more of just like a, I'm gonna rant and lecture about how awful the people that watch me are, and it really <laughs> makes zero sense to me. Like, she really just came off of this this video where she talked about wanting to change the direction of her channel and, you know, make people believe in her and do all these good things and make it a place of positivity. And she comes out with the very next video called I'm Done Being Silent, Drama Lies Tea Mess, So Raw, Episode 3. And I'm just like, you were, you were never silent. You, ne <laughs> you, you never stopped talking. You're still talking. I don't know how she doesn't understand. And listen, I don't know, maybe she'll explain this in the video once we get there. But I don't understand how she talks about, like, this this concept, this idea that she's being silent or silenced. Either way, I always put in the Oprah clip where Oprah is interviewing Meghan Markle and she's like, were you silent or were you silenced? Were you silent or were you silenced? And honestly, Amberlynn is neither. <laughs> you know, it's probably a little bit of a, a misdirect on my end to suggest that she is silent or silenced because nobody's silencing her and she's out here being fucking loud as hell. <laughs> So I just, woo, I am so tired of the, the rant slash lecturing her audience era. I'm over it, but I'm not so over it that I'm going to stop watching because uh, I also enjoy it just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. I can't stop. I can't help myself. So if y'all are ready, Potato and I are ready. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hey guys. Hi, so Amberlynn. So raw. So episode raw. Three. Like, we're already on the third episode. Wow. I thought that I was gonna, like, end it after episode <laughs> one. I actually believe that she would do it, but I wish she would end it, because it's the dumbest series to date. <laughs> it's the dumbest one to date, and the only reason she keeps going is because she can't do anything else right now. No, we are going until we can't go no longer. Okay. So before we get into this, I would like to say that this is me after barely sleeping for one hour. Why? Like, Why? I'm so tired in Why? these clips, so I just wanted to Why? you guys for Why would you do that? the weirdness ahead. No, because she did this with the last So Raw episode, too. This is the one thing you know is happening every week. Why don't you just plan accordingly to not film it when you're half awake? I don't... This is the only guaranteed filming right now that we get from you every week. You do it once a week. So why not just plan ahead to film it while you are not sleepy and tired? It doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. I don't understand. Today I am wearing my Barbie shirt. I love the shirt. Barbie shirt. I am a Barbie. Shout out to Malibu Barbie Paytas Hackman. I'm just like embracing it and loving it and just being a plus size Barbie queen. I actually hate calling myself plus size because I'm why? definitely not plus size. I'm super morbidly obese, but uh, you know. <laughs> Let's just cringe together. Uh, yeah. You you can call yourself super morbidly obese if you want. Like, I don't understand. I think plus size is a perfectly fine word to describe you if that's a word you want to use. I don't understand that either, okay? Yes, my hair is a little... I like the little curls. Poo -poo bananas today, so we're just going to also embrace The little tendrils. That. So, anyway. It's, the it's very much giving, I don't know, the Gilded Age, the Downton Abbey, you know, where they got the little tendrils <laughs> off to the side. The thing I want to talk about is kind of like dehumanized a oh, moment for because... Oh, for fuck's sake. We're really bringing that word back again, a dehumanized update. I want to give you an update on how I'm dehumanized. What 
has changed since you last told us you were, you felt dehumanized. What could have possibly changed? What do I need an update on? Last episode, I did talk to you guys about how I feel dehumanized. Uh-huh. And I read some of y'all's comments. I read your guys' messages. Yeah. A lot of you actually agree with me. Especially in my private DMs. You guys need <laughs> of course, of course the people that agree with you are in your private DMs. Of course they are. Me feel so validated. So I Well good, good. Hold on to that then. If you feel validated, again, this is what I'm talking about though. Let me let me do say this before I shut her down too quick. Hold on to that. If if that makes you feel validated. Hold on to those positive comments of encouragement, okay? You, you can stop right here. But I know you're about to t talk some shit about the people who disagree with you. I, kn I know you're about to bring up the negativity, because that's what you do. You can't, you can't linger too much on the positivity of the people who supported you. So we gotta start, we so gotta start getting mad at the people who didn't support you. Completely appreciate that. And then there's a portion of people, especially in the comments, like right. those comments are brutal. It's like trendy to be mean to me. <laughs> but in the comments, Stop. people are validating my feelings and how I felt. But I wanted to share a few more reasons why I feel like I am dehumanized. You're not, it's not, it's not being dehumanized. Bestie, you're not being dehumanized just because people don't like everything you do or don't agree with everything you do. I think a lot of people see the humanity in you, actually. I think a lot of people at different points have started watching you because they see you as a human, because they relate to you in some kind of way. I mean, I've told this story about how I started watching her a thousand different times. I was on a weight loss journey, and she was an LGBTQIA plus person, and so I was like... Bada bing, bada boom, I relate to this woman. It was only after I started watching her for a while where I was like, oh my God, there's a lot here to unpack. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't think people don't see you as a human, don't see your humanity. I think people just are critical of the things that you do or say or post on the internet, as are people of me, as are people of most YouTubers. On my channel. So this one for me is kind of hard. This also happened on Instagram. I'm not sure if it still is happening on Instagram, what but do you this mean? currently is happening on TikTok. So you search my name on TikTok and it says, no results found. This phrase may be associated with behavior or content that violates our guidelines. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know okay, that. <laughs> I didn't how? know that. Like literally I have a TikTok. You guys can see it right here. I have a TikTok. I am not off a of TikTok. I have never I, done I, anything bad I on see TikTok. Your, I see your TikTok. Um, I was making money on TikTok at one point. Oh, really? Um, I, ha I, I had no idea that she was making money. I, I literally also have heard, though, that it's really hard to make money on TikTok. I don't know. I'm really bad at TikTok. You could go to my, my TikTok page and see that I'm just like, no, nobody's watching me over on the TikTok. It's nothing that I have done on TikTok to create this to happen. And also this happened when, with Instagram as well. And I did nothing. I still have a profile on Instagram. I've never been kicked off of Instagram. So it was nothing I did. Okay. So in my head, I was like, okay, is it because I'm just controversial, if you will? So I thought of one of the most unliked not YouTubers. this. Uh, so we're, we're comparing ourselves. We're comparing ourselves again to other YouTubers. <laughs> if you if you didn't watch my last video, I've already ranted enough about how she picks and chooses when it's okay to compare her to other YouTubers. And you know what I didn't articulate enough? She she loves to compare herself to like, she'll be like, well, Trisha Paytas does all these things and doesn't get held accountable, but she hates when she's compared to other plus size YouTubers. That was always the thing that she hated because people would be like, well, uh, B Caruso doesn't get treated poorly. Hungry Fat Chick doesn't get treated poorly. They'll be like, glitter and lasers doesn't get treated poorly. And she'll be like, yeah, but I'm different. I'm not like those creators. And it's, so it's just like, please don't compare me to that. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's like she picks and chooses when it's okay to compare her to other YouTubers and not. And I really don't think it's fair to compare her to anybody. I think like you really do have to look at the context of who she is, the channel she's created on her own, 
etc. Like, it's not fair to compare her to Glitter and Lasers, because Glitter and Lasers content is way different than the content that Amberlynn Reed posts, you know? But at the same time, whoever she's about to compare herself to, it's probably also not fair to compare her to that person. But she's going to do it because it's going to work in her favor, because she's going to be like, when you look up this person, you, they don't, that doesn't happen or what people would like to consider someone who is extremely unliked, uh -huh. which I completely disagree. And I looked up Trisha Paytas on TikTok. I knew it was going to be Trisha. I knew it was. I knew it was. She's viewable. Yeah, she, okay. There's tons of profiles with her name. There's hashtags, etc. Sure, et cetera. sure, sure, so sure. I said, you know what? How about I try someone else? Shane Dawson, we all know. Well, Shane Do uh, Shane Dawson should be controversial to most people, but he's he's not controversial enough to a lot of people, unfortunately. So I think this is a really unfair comparison. I well, I think the Trisha one is unfair too. Like, also these people have like millions of subscribers. She has two hundred and three thousand, and like, there's so many things that like you can poke holes through her comparison theories here in her little experiment. The, all the scandals, everything that he's done, nope, he still pops up as well. Sure, so okay. Like, okay, well, what's different about me? Like, what did I do? I literally am just a small YouTube channel. So I tried well, to think, okay. Yeah, that that's also my point. Like, people are very much aware of those. So even if you're trying to say, like, oh, the things associated with these people are negative and hateful and things like that, like, even if you're trying to say that that's the point, like, they have big enough name recognition on the internet that I'm sure whatever comes up like that, they have ways to, like, be like, hey, stop shadow banning my name. Hey, they have some kind of contact at the TikTok, the Instagram. You know, it's, it's very different. Like, people do actually get shadow banned. Like, creators get shadow banned on Instagram, at least, all the time. I know it's a popular complaint of people. It very well could be that that's just the case with you. You got shadow banned. I mean, you also do post a lot of, like, just nonsense <laughs> on your on your Instagram stories like all the time that you you are a little controversial on there with the things that you post sometimes. I'm not saying like controversial like racist things like that, but I'm saying like you get people worked up over on the Instagram. It is a thing you do. So what's the differences between me, Trish and Shane besides the obvious? Oh, I have an eating disorder. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go on the other side of the spectrum, uh -huh. someone else on YouTube who Eugenia? has an eating disorder, and people love to talk about it. <laughs> Eugenia Cooney. Okay. Uh, if I pronounce her name wrong, I do You apologize. did. It's fine. So I looked her up on... Um, <laughs> Although, I will say, a small pet peeve, and, and I'm guilty of it too, but I'm trying to get better about it, is when people have a platform to, like, know well enough, like, what people's names are, like... Like, Eugenia has a, a big enough platform that, like, you could go look up how to say her name, you, you know? I think that happens so often with people. It's just like, just go just go do a quick Google search. They'll tell you how to say it. But I, you know what? I've been guilty of it, too, in the past. So it's just something to consider moving forward. I don't think Amberlynn's an awful person. But, you know, maybe if you want to use somebody's name like that in the future, consider a Google before you publish this video, you know? Well, there she is. Well, There's there she is. There's a bunch of hashtags is. with her and a bunch of names with her. Sure. So why is there no results found for me? Girl, I don't know. Think for three seconds. <laughs> what Girl. could be being posted? Girl, I don't I know. I've seen several bullying, fat shaming, etc things on TikTok that have to do with me. Bestie, is your TikTok, though, is your TikTok name even, let me go look up, because I haven't even looked for her on the TikTok in a minute. Is her TikTok name even Amberlynn Reed on there? Because if so, then why does she care if people can search her that way? Is it Amberlynn Reed? Amberlynn Reed. Also, wait, wait, and let me search her. It let me. What is she going on about? It, it full on. Wait, that's not her. That's somebody with an account. But it full on let me search her. All these things popped up. What is she even talking about? You can search her name. You can search Amberlynn Reed and see 
all kinds of videos pop up, accounts. What is she on? I'm gonna go try on, on Instagram too since she said that that happened there as well. Cause I'm not, I'm not getting what comes up for her on her screen. Yeah, you can search, you can search Amberlynn Reed here too. All kinds of posts come up, all kinds of accounts come up. Not hers because she doesn't have the thought process to name herself her her actual name so people can find her. I'm so confused how she even got that screen. Everything pops up for me. So while I was editing, I saw that actually what she was searching for on TikTok was Amber space Lynn space read. And when I tried typing that in, it did come up with the screen that she showed. But why would you spell your name that way? Why would she do it that way to find that? specifically. I don't know. That's very weird. If you type her name like it is on her channel, you will find content about her on TikTok and Instagram. Anytime someone reduces a human being to a single characteristic, especially a negative one, they're dehumanizing. So some examples of that is alcoholic, addict, diabetic, schizophrenic, all raw people of the full complexity of their lives and reduce them to a symptom or a disorder. This is literally how it feels, people. I, I listen, I big proponent of, of saying there's more to Amberlynn than just her weight. In fact, I bring it up all the time on my channel when it comes to like people who want me to like say shitty things about her weight and I won't because there's plenty of things that Amberlynn does that's not related to her weight. And in fact, she, she talks about it all the time. Like I'm more than my weight. But the problem is, is that she's always talking about her weight. So if you're talking about her channel, it's hard not to talk about her channel without context of her weight because so many of her videos are about that. So I don't, <laughs> you know, you don't want that to be the case. I'm not saying that people should be, cause that was uh, a few people commented on my last video that it felt a little victim blaming to say that like Amber Lynn is responsible for the shitty things that people say. And that is not how I feel at all. I don't think people, even if she is talking about her weight, should be sending her death threats, uh, calling her names related to how she looks and her weight and things like that. But you can't get mad that people want to talk about your weight when that's your channel. Like, the point of the, a comment section is to talk about what's in the video, right? So if you make a whole video about your weight and weight loss, people are gonna talk about your weight and weight loss. And there are many people who do that without calling you names and talking about the way you look, wishing you death, etc. There are people that do that and I do think that's inappropriate. I guess my whole point here is that she put up this screenshot to talk about how dehumanizing puts people down to just one characteristic about them, i.e. that she has a binge eating disorder and that she struggles with her weight. But the thing is, is that the reason people talk about that is because she's on the internet making that the primary focus of her entire channel. Does that make sense? Like, are you all connecting the dots with me? People call me fat, people call me liar. You guys have created this character. Well, well you do lie. You sure do lie. You even did multiple videos of you reacting to you lying. So <laughs> that's like a meme on the internet. I was literally going through Big Brother uh, Twitter the other day and somebody responded with, <laughs> with uh, it was about like this guy lying to this other woman that was playing the game with him. And they posted the, the thumbnail of her reacting to her lying and they switched it to me reacting to you lying. Oh my God, I about lost it. Cause I was like, why is Amber Lynn coming into Big Brother Twitter? But yeah, you, you are a lie. You do lie. You have lied. Iron Lynn, that doesn't even exist. You guys make me feel like my eating disorder is the only thing that I am. And me being super morbidly obese is the only thing that I am. Or, you know, my favorite, I'm a narcissist. You literally changed your Instagram name to narcissistic goddess once upon a time. What do you mean? Like, if you don't want people to think you're a narcissist, why change your Instagram handle to that? <laughs> you can't get mad about people calling you that when you literally named yourself that on Instagram. According to a lot of people. So I noticed a lot of people didn't like that I used the word dehumanized. So right. I decided. It was goofy. Here are some other words. 
Stop. Okay, cinnamon, cinnamon, Lynn. Not cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Uh, thesaurus, Lynn. That I want to show you that also mean around the same thing. Okay. To degrade, to diminish, to belittle. Okay. Why, the why do I feel like I'm in middle school going through the, the concept of synonyms right now? Things are happening. People are degrading me, how I sure, look. Sure, there are people doing talk, that. I agree. What I wear, things that have happened with me in the past, things that happened with me in the present, okay. currently, it doesn't matter okay. what it is. People diminish my accomplishments, but they make my failures super freaking huge. Like, well, you just you just said that there are all kinds of people affirming you too. That's my whole point. Is like focus on the people who are affirming you, validating you. And, you, you know, like, I, I, she can't even see through some of it. I mean, like, she has famously said that I don't, I don't ever, she said this on an Instagram story, so maybe not famously if you don't have Instagram, but she said on an Instagram story that all I do is complain about her when I'm, I frequently give her compliments uh, much more than than some would anticipate or like me to do. Like, lots of people, anytime I have anything nice to say, they say that I'm just, like, trying to get on Amberlynn's good side. But I, that's because I'm balanced. I'm not, like, I can see when when good things are happening. But she she can't ever just, like, let that be the focus. She always has to highlight the negativity. Like, it's, it's wild. I am belittled. All the time so people are asking why are you talking about this now why are you talking about i'm not haters I'm, hater I'm, nation i'm not asking why i know why because you can't you can't do anything else to cause drama on your channel right now you can't show wifey in your videos you're still recovering from an injury that doesn't let you move so you are left to just sitting here ranting and lecturing us. That's like the only interesting thing you can do right now. Why are you talking about the reaction channels? It's because I'm finally using my voice. For so long, <laughs> I let rumors <sighs> become ah, This video is gonna be- Facts, because it didn't say anything. Rumors become false facts. No, bestie, no. There are a lot of rumors that aren't true, but there's a lot of things that have been proven to be true. There are. I didn't stand up for myself. This video's gonna I be so long, reaction besties. Channel after reaction channel after reaction channel just make money. Laugh themselves to the bank because of me. They react to my content constantly. Uh huh. Spreading speculation and rumors and lies. And it's like, I finally want to use my voice Bess now and it doesn't matter. Bessie, if we're reacting to your videos, like, I'm sitting here reacting to the things you're saying. People are getting to hear what you're saying. People are hearing straight from your mouth what you're saying. I'm just giving my opinion about what you're saying. They can still decide if they agree with my opinion based on what you're saying. If I didn't do it before, all that matters is that I'm doing it now. Because for so long, I stayed silent Ugh, and I just... For I so long... I think that's fair and I don't I didn't think use that's my right. voice. Like, you with my 200,000 subscribers. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to use your voice. I know a lot of people just want to say, oh, ignore it, ignore it. It's different. Yeah, sure. Let's ignore someone telling me my hair is ugly. That's different. The shit that I'm talking about goes so much deeper. So I feel like I can talk about this for literally forever. Sure. But we're not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> I will I don't understand why discussion on my channel. I don't understand why she can't ignore it, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't understand. You really could, at a minimum, not amplify the voices. If people didn't realize they were getting a reaction out of you, they would eventually stop. Continue using my voice and sticking up for me because I know I deserve better. I thoroughly do not think that I have done anything as bad as what people make me seem like. Not a damn thing. So sure. the next thing is, what happened to your merch? The merch? I've gotten this question so many times. Why, why are we talking about the merch? <laughs> that shitty ass merch? <laughs> that, that low effort merch she made? So I figured I would answer it now. So the merch I made is simplistic. It's modern in my opinion. Modern? funny. It's something that I would enjoy wearing. <laughs> I personally modern. don't like super gaudy or colorful Oh merch. my god. That's not my style, 
If you want cute merch, I'll leave a link to my merch down below if you, if you want to go check it out. And, and I put a lot more thought into it than the, the silly, goofy stuff she did. She missed out on the merch thing so hard. There are so many better things related to her channel that she could have monetized in a merch moment than what she did. And... She dropped the ball. She fumbled that ball so hard. That's not what I want. And the simplicity of my merch, people took as laziness. It was. When you guys wouldn't even believe how long it took me to do this because I am... Me no understand. I do not understand how to do well, this. Well, just because you couldn't figure out how to do it doesn't mean you weren't lazy. <laughs> Just because you couldn't figure it out. Listen, you know when I'm not a graphic design artist, that's why I outsourced that. I found people to help me. I paid people to help me with that. I paid people to help me get things set up because I could, I, listen, I'm no expert either, but I put my energy and resources into it. That's why people are saying you're lazy. This did take me some time, um, and I liked what I made. Okay, good. I thoroughly did. That's what matters, and Bestie. people were calling it lazy, saying how horrible it was, and that it was ugly, and just all this stuff, and it's just like, that's the style that I want. Okay, great, but also let me tell you how capitalism works. If people don't like the product you're selling, they won't buy it. And that's just that or that. <laughs> like, the fuck? Me. <laughs> I like the like, simplicity. Okay, then you I wear it. I've never seen her wear her own merch once. Not even once. Not never. I've never seen it in her home. You know what? You like it so much. You buy it for yourself, bestie. I don't know what to tell you. If other people didn't like it, they don't have to buy it. That's how merch works. That's how capitalism works. I think it's cute. It's dainty. And it's not colorful and in your face because I don't want that to be my okay, merch. Great. So they I don't. decided to stop speaking about the merch because I started to feel dumb because so many people hated Best, it and so many Bestie, people that's called a, me that's on lazy. You. Instead of just expressing your opinion and saying this isn't my style, I became lazy Lynn. Bessie, I don't know what to tell you, but that merch was lazy. That merch was low effort. You put the words merch moment on a hoodie. That was some low effort, low energy merch. And it's like, nothing is ever good enough, um, which is fine. Everyone has different clothing styles. For sure, that's capitalism, baby. Like to wear, which I understand, I get that. But it's just like, the fucking backlash was crazy over some simplistic merch. Like, there's bigger problems in the world. I promise. So in my first so Pe haul video, I'm pretty sure it was People good. are allowed to not like your merch. That's all there is to it. That is all, <laughs> all there is to it, bestie. They're allowed to not enjoy the things, not buy it, and give their feedback on why they're not buying it. Them saying that they didn't like it is not an attack on you unless you make it an attack on you. If you feel some type of way about them calling you lazy, maybe reflect on why you're taking that so personally. I don't know. <laughs> like, at the time, you were doing a lot of low effort cash grab situation types of deals. You really were. That's a, a, a big part of what your channel was for like the year after you broke up with Becky. So the next question, I actually got this from Instagram. Did you and Wifey have sex the first day you met? Ugh. And Wait, I want her to answer the question about why we're suddenly calling her Wifey again. Why? Please. Because she said we're not we're not supposed to do that anymore. And I need to know why why we are. I don't care. I really don't need to know about the the licking and places and things like that. Like that that is none of my business. Y'all enjoy that. Y'all have the best time of your life. But I, what I would like to know is why we're allowed to start calling her wifey again. We actually did. We oh, don't wow. need to go into detail. Thank but I you. Was, I was really nervous, but it was amazing, of course. Of course. So, of people course. are asking, am I still doing scratch art? Why did I stop showing uh, the videos? The, why, why are y'all asking that? Why Y'all are asking that to troll me, aren't ya? <laughs> you? You're, you're asking that to troll me, the Zachary Mike over here on, on my channel. You don't really care about the scratch art. Stop it. Actually, not doing scratch art anymore. And I'm not showing it in videos because I'm not doing it, but also mm. because you guys didn't want that anymore. Well, it's true. Well, you were not interested. Absolutely um, true. I actually watched this vlogger, Sarah Ray Vlogus. I'm familiar. Love, 
I love her vlogs. Like, uh -huh. they just remind me of mine. So low-key. And in one of the videos that I was watching from her, I'm behind her videos by, like, a few weeks. So I was watching this vlogger, and she loves to talk about books. Uh-huh. I'm right there with her. We both love reading. So Great. I understand the passion behind it, and I love when she actually films and talks about books that she's reading. What the fuck does this have to do with scratch art? Gives me ideas of what to read. And people in her comments were like telling her that it's boring, they're not interested in it. Okay, yes, this is how YouTube works. You want to maintain an audience. If they don't like it, they're going to be like, hey, this isn't my favorite kind of content. But the thing is, she tried to explain that like... It's something that she's passionate okay, about. Okay, great. She enjoys doing. So Perfect. She to talk about it because she doesn't purposely do things for the vlog. She simply just vlogs her life. Okay, like, work. If she wants to keep putting it in, then great. That's how YouTube works. You get comments and sometimes you decide to act on those comments and sometimes you keep doing what you're doing. And then people will either keep watching or they won't. <laughs> like, I don't understand what, what we're talking about here. That's kind of what I've tried to convey as well, is like, I'm not purposely doing things in my life to vlog. Okay. I'm simply just vlogging Perfect. things in my life. Love it. And if it's books or scratch art uh -huh. or Legos, whatever it may be, um, I want to feel happy enough and content enough and safe enough to share those things on my channel. Girl, then share it. Share it. Share what you want. But people are allowed to not like it. People are allowed to not be interested and share that they think it's boring. And then if you are worried about losing viewers because of your scratch art, then you'll stop showing the scratch art. But if you really want to do it, you'll keep doing it. <sighs> Why does she make everything so convoluted and complicated? Even if some people aren't interested, but that's what I feel like is fun about vlogs, you're watching someone else's life. Okay, great. Watching them do things that maybe you don't do or some things that you do do. I don't need you to defend um, that. I, I just feel like when a lot of people start tearing me down um, when it comes to a certain something, it actually really does get to me mentally. So then I just try to take it away altogether. Bestie, that's, so, that's on you. Know, if you're insecure about your scratch art hobby, that's on you. People are allowed to say, hey, girly, this is boring. I don't like watching this. That's fine. Saying how, like, I'm a little kid. Why am I doing scratch arts for kindergartners? I kind of just felt dumb about the whole thing and just took it off my channel. I, so, I want to talk about three conspiracies that uh, I, I... Conspiracy Len is maybe, I don't know, I, I probably not my least favorite Len, but certainly not my favorite. Even, okay? So, before I get into this, we're not going to be arguing in the comments, we're not going to be calling each other stupid or unintelligent, this is just fun conspiracies. Well, I know she's about to say some dumb shit then. <laughs> I know the shit that's about to come out of her mouth is dumb as hell. You know, it doesn't mean I'm right. I, I love conspiracies, okay? So, the first one is, I believe, the moon landing. I, girl, happen. I already know that. I just, you've already, you've mentioned that several times. Proof. There's a lot of proof online. It just seems like we were trying to Make it to the moon before Russia. Okay, keep so going. Said Say did. something you did. Is the next one going to be flat earth? Like, tell me a conspiracy you haven't talked about ad nauseum on your channel. So another thing is I believe that a lot of astronaut clips is not really astronauts in space. You can also go to YouTube. Astronaut clips is not really astronauts in space. Oh, <laughs> girl, it would be much easier to take your conspiracy theories more seriously if you at least use proper grammar. Not that I can't figure out what you're trying to say. I'm not typically somebody that, like cares if you use bad grammar as long as like I still understand what you're communicating you know like that's I haven't always been like that but in recent history that's been more my philosophy on things <laughs> but you're out here shelling out these uh silly conspiracy theories <laughs> wanting wanting people to take you seriously and you're like astronaut clips is not real like what <laughs> what and you can find actual clips 
of astronauts with wires. With it's, with wires. It's crazy, what are especially you, when you see the green what are you, screen. What are you talking oh, about, Bestie? That was that was embarrassing. I will. What are you? There what was an astronaut in space, right? What is and this they were, like, clip? Interviewing him, even and showing. Then they cut I guess it looks like he's grabbing some kind of of wire or something. But if it's zero gravity, would you not need something to hold you somewhat in place so you're not just floating all over the place? But away from him. Oh, she's... You saw the green screen. And it was disheartening. I know you guys probably think I'm dumb, but this I, is I, just one conspiracy, I don't, okay? I don't think... Well, I might think you're dumb. I don't know if I think you're dumb because of this. I think I just wish you would spend this time on literally anything else. <laughs> like, like who can, what what are the consequences of if if some astronaut clips are fake anyways? You know, I don't I don't know. Like what what would be the worst thing about that? I don't understand. So the last one is I thoroughly believe that Stevie Wonder is not blind. <laughs> Look at this clip. Okay. Will you shut the fuck up? I I know. <laughs> This literally is so fitting that this happened in this video because literally yesterday at my Twitch stream, I was talking about just like feeling depressed. I do have like I've been diagnosed with major depression in the past and I also have generalized anxiety disorder. And I was just talking about how yesterday, like sometimes when you're depressed, you just wake up depressed and like there's no rhyme or reason for it. And somebody tried to discredit that by saying like, well, are you sure you're not just having a bad day? And this is a thing that people with disabilities in general, across the a huge, large, wide spectrum of disability, that people are frequently questioning if people's disabilities are real or if, like, they're just, like, faking it, things like that. And, and I was, like, rightfully frustrated with that conversation yesterday. But it's just so wild to me that she's out here questioning a man's disability who's been in a public space, public platform for so long. You really think this man for his entire career could really fake a disability? Are you kidding me? On top of this, not even to mention that this is a woman who's gotten mad that people have criticized, and rightfully so she's gotten mad, that people have suggested that she was lying about her own health experiences, that people think she's lying about her having cancer. She's rightfully upset about that. But just consider the fact that you were upset about that and now you're questioning this man's real life disability? Are you absolutely fucking kidding me right now? Okay. How does he see in a loud room with loud people, loud singing, loud well, band, loud. Are you audience, kidding me? How does he know? Are you okay? The microphone. First of all, ooh, 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 you got me heated. A lot of people don't know that I, when I worked in higher education, one of my jobs was working with students with disabilities. Okay, like I was responsible for getting them accommodations. I don't talk about it a lot on YouTube because it rarely applies to what what is going on here. But uh, people who are blind, one, not necessarily completely blind. <laughs> Sometimes they can't. I don't know what Stevie Wonder's condition is, but let me just like dispel some myths. Sometimes people who are legally blind can see some things, just not most things. Okay, so there's that. Second of all, people who are blind, especially people who have been blind for a good chunk of their life, i.e. Stevie Wonder, uh, are usually able to pick up on a lot of other things and other skills, senses, resources when it comes to figuring out what's going on around them. You're telling me Paul McCartney just rushed by this man and Stevie Wonder didn't sense that at all and couldn't feel like the things happening around him? What? <laughs> Why are you sitting here dissecting this man's life? Leave Stevie Wonder alone! Oh my god, I had no idea this is what I would be getting heated about in an Amber Lynn Ring video today, but here we are. Um, is falling. Like, you can't hear that. The microphone, I have been 
near microphones like that and you don't hear the bestie calling. you especially be bestie when was the last time you were by a microphone like that get the fuck out of here imagine all the music and the drums like because there's you are goofy it, it's just like a crazy loud you look so ridiculous right now play because i don't know about copyright or whatever tell me how that's possible I just it did. Oh, I up. just did, and I'm so irritated with this woman right now. <laughs> I'm so irritated for a woman who wants people to take her health and and various potential disabilities seriously. How dare you? So we have a rumor: Amber Lynn is in a poly <laughs> relationship. So I'm. You know what? She she wants to get mad about how all of these rumors and whatever allegedly started. And I do appreciate that she's speaking out about them. But also, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't even know about these rumors if she didn't address them. <laughs> like, honestly. Also, the, the poly relationship rumor is from so long ago when she first introduced Wifey on her channel. And she said that Wifey was polyamorous. I'm gonna let y'all know right here, right now, I'm a one gal type of gal. Uh huh. I only wanna be with one person. Great. I only want Great. to love one person. The reason this rumor exists is because you said wifey was polyamorous, and at the same time, you start talking about all these men that you thought were attractive and how you were considering dating men, too. So I just wanna be clear about where this rumor comes from, Amberlynn and make love to one person. I want that one person to be my best friend, my lover, my my other half. And I need that to be the same energy Sure. my other half. Sure. I have to be their one and only. Great, so can you address though why people think this is a rumor? Cause I'm more interested in you addressing that. Cause then we can start talking about wifey and how she's been the same all along and how she's not just a new girlfriend or whatever, it's wifey. No, oh, I'm not in a poly relationship. My partner is not in a poly relationship. It's just us. Okay, it's great. It's wifey, that's it. Appreciate I it. I will never, ever be in a poly relationship. I am way too jealous. I, <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. That is self-aware. My girlfriend doesn't want that. So. But she did want it once upon a time because you said so. If you're Polly, be with Polly. But if you're monogamous, <laughs> be, be with Polly for anyone. Okay. So you, people have been asking my opinion on Nikocado Avocado and how he like shades me all the time and all this stuff. Uh -huh. And honestly, my opinion is just that. I'm just queen. I'm news. <laughs> I'm entertaining. I'm and just queen. I inspire him to be funny and quirky and dainty. So my opinion is. That I love that she's including this clip to suggest that this is him making fun of her because. Uh, I would not necessarily associate this with her. I mean, she has ridden on scooters in the past, but like not in this manner. At, I love that for him. And I hope he continues on the journey of trying to be my uh, clone or something. But, I don't know. <laughs> well, whatever he's doing, he's getting way more views and clicks and things like that than you are, Bestie. I hate to tell ya. He seems a little obsessed. Okay, so advice segment. I hate my boyfriend's cooking. I always lie and say I like it because I don't want to hurt his feelings. Should I be honest? So I have been in this situation in the past. Where where your girlfriends have lied to you about your chili? Thankfully not with my current girlfriend. I'm not gonna say who, but oh, in the past I Probably Becky, because she's not allowed to talk about Becky anymore. I feel like she would say Destiny or Crystal's name, so she's probably talking about Becky here. I have eight people's cooking that I was like uh, and nine times out of ten, actually, ten times out of ten, I just lie and said I liked it. You know, it's like those little white lies. Oh, let me get it now. The reaction channels. Amberlynn admitting to lying. We, uh, do it. we all do it. We don't want to hurt someone's feelings. I mean, you've admitted to lying before. I didn't. I didn't need you saying that you lied about somebody's cooking to. <laughs> to confirm that for me, but thanks, Bestie. I had, I didn't even have that thought. So, that is the end of this. Like, I don't mean to make... <laughs> Thank God! I literally... Oh, my God. There, wait, there's still three minutes left? <laughs> she said this is the end! 
But I literally already know for a fact I cut out the random fact, the bad choices, and the favorites section. Because what, what do you want me to say about that shit? Seems super ranty, like I'm raging or whatever. Uh-huh. But I do have to speak up for myself, and I do have to stick up for myself. And yes and no. Voice. Yes and no. And it's just like these reaction channels, they get to spend all day and every day just talking about me. Sure. And the minute I talk about them, which is about me, I'm attacked for it. I should you're, well, you're welcome to, to say whatever you want. For sure, for sure. I think that there is a balance of like figuring out what is necessary. I've talked about this, actually, in many of our recent videos about figuring out what's necessary to address and what you should just ignore and move on. Like, I think it's one of the most useful skills, specifically on YouTube, but also in life in general. Like, if you've ever had a job where you get an annual review or feedback, it's like you can take and receive that feedback however you want, right? <laughs> like, you get to decide what to do with that, and it's an important skill to decide how to use that information moving forward. When you're on YouTube, you have to decide, is this an important thing for me to do and take in and change something about myself, or should I set it aside? And you're doing neither of those things. What you're doing, actually, is choosing just to get mad about all of it. So you're not applying it to your life or ignoring it. And instead, you're making a bigger deal about it. You're frustrating people. And the other thing is, is that you're not just reacting to reaction channels. You're not just responding to me or whoever else. You're responding to people in your comments. Because you want to know one place I'm not? In your comments. <laughs> I, I haven't looked at your comments in, in forever. Okay, so you're not just responding to me, Young Dumb Honey Bun, Kicking Geese, Charlie Gold, whoever, whatever, that's still reacting to your videos. You're also responding to the people who watch your videos and are in your comments, because you specifically said that, right? I, I don't have anything directly to do with those people. I'm not in your comments saying anything, okay? So take what you want. Make changes, don't make changes, your choice, but you're not choosing to do any of those things. You're choosing to just like rant and be angry at the people who watch your videos. Should ignore it. No, no, I don't see it that way anymore. I should be allowed to confirm if some things are sure. real or not. Sure, 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 sure. To talk about speculation. Sure. Just. Try to clear things up. Because okay, well, let's be clear. You only cleared one thing up here. The only thing you cleared up was the rumor about whether or not you're poly. The rest of this was just you ranting about people not treating you nicely. Because too many times have I let things slide and they just got way bigger than they needed to be. So anyways, um, if you guys have anything you want me to talk I about, don't. topics, whatever it may be. <laughs> I would like to you watch you vlog on again. Instagram at velvet dot and dot honey. Um, or just comments below because I do read comments now. Um, See? Or community posts because I like to post community posts. Sure, 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 sure. Give me topics to talk about. I'm sure you guys can tell I am beyond tired. I feel like I'm go to sleep and making take a nap. Absolutely no sense. But yeah. I had to film this video. I probably should have waited to do my whole don't sleep situation Ab to deal for another day. Absolutely. But. That or just film this on a different day. This is the one video you know is happening every week. You could have planned in advance. You could have filmed this three days ago for all I care or no. You know what? Today's Monday. I wanted to film this for you guys. Start off my Monday being awake at a like normal decent time because my sleeping schedule's been horrific. But I wanted to be awake in the morning. I wanted to sure, experience fine. life Great. in the morning. So I was like, you know what? This hour of sleep is just going to have to be it. So that's that. Have that's you guys that. heard of the term are, slap happy? Are we not done? Can you end like, the video? Wait, 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 wait. Let me look up the defo. I don't need the definition, the definition of slap happy. Cause... I need you to end this video. Like you said you were going to do three minutes ago. I feel slap happy. I always thought slap happy meant like you're so tired, you're like loopy. It's almost like you took a few shots of alcohol. Might I add, did not happen. I actually have not drank. Nobody thought you did. End the video. Live stream. End so, the vlog. Yeah. Uh, slap happy, casual or flippant in a cheerful and often irresponsible way. 
dazed or stupefied by or as if by a series of blows in to the, head. the video. Okay. In um, the video. Goodbye. Oh, on Urban Dictionary. Slap happy. Term Bye. To describe one's mood when sleep deprived or tired. Signs of being slap happy include oh, inane God. rambling, strange remarks, odd random behavior, such as giving oneself a wedgie, Bestie. uncontrollable laughter at one's jokes. Bestie. So there it is. Let's, I was let's, right. Let's I'm gonna go now stop I'm it. Slap happy. Please. <laughs> I'll definitely be falling Please. asleep at a uh, normal time. Thank God. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this I, raw episode. I don't know that I did. Hopefully it wasn't a <laughs> I did, I did, I did, I did. I did enjoy it. I did, and I didn't. You know, you can be happy and sad at the same time. That's what Casey Musgrave says. But uh, that's that's our video for today. I don't have any more time to give to this particular video. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Leave me a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on all my social media, check out my merch, check out my Twitch channel where I don't play games but I do react to videos, and also check out my gaming channel on YouTube where I do play games. And above all else, have a lovely, wonderful, marvelous day. Bye!